talked about Stevie, one of the greatest of all time. Um, there's a different vibe in each of those albums, especially those that 70s or like four or five yeah. in a row that are just like one yeah. of the greatest albums ever. <laughs> it's crazy. And each one is really different, like Talking Book, Music of My Mind, Fulfilling yeah. His First Finale. Like they're, they're different songs in the yeah. key of life. So do you have a favorite or at least one you can say, okay, this feeds into who I have become more than the others? I think Inner Visions. Mm, yeah. 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 I think that one, that one spoke to me. I mean, beyond it, just beyond musically, like just um, every Blood Orange album is that I make. I'm, I'm, the track listing is insanely worked on. I'm like writing to a track list. Like I want... I know how I want it to feel like 10 minutes in. I know how I want it to feel 20 minutes in. And I'm working like that, <laughs> which may sound insane. But, you know, I have a bunch of songs, of course, like that I've gathered over like a two-year period or whatever. But when I'm like track listing it, I guess this is, gonna, this is sounding a little hectic, but I'm always putting stuff in a playlist. Even when, I know, even when I'm not making an album, like now, for example, everything I work on, even if it's like two minutes or a minute or whatever, I have a a track list of it because the placements are so important to me and how things flow, and how things connect. And then down the line when I think, oh, I can kind of see an album here, then I get a bit more specific about it. And I'm like, well, I need something to begin this. Like, oh, I need something that could be a track seven. And the flow of how it all connects and how it feels as a complete thing um, is very, very, very important to me. And I feel like Inner Visions is a big influence on that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How everything flows together and, you know, the moments hit when they need to hit and they bring you down at the right moments and, so um so i think there's a lot of other projects that also that have influenced that but i think hey, part of what you're talking about is an album and younger folks may not know <laughs> yeah what yeah that is they do not know what that is we <laughs> tend to get now here's a collection of songs i worked on over the past six to twelve months yeah but an album was a complete musical statement that you could put on from beginning to end it had there was a cohesion to the whole thing yeah. we probably worked with like the same people pretty much on the whole thing yeah and like you're <laughs> saying like there's a reason why this song starts this song's in the middle oh, this song's in the end we take you up then we take you down yeah then we give you dance then we give you mellow then we exactly. make you cry then we bring you back you know we think about what's going on we think about all yeah. those stevie albums you think about you know even off the wall yeah like there's there's a flow and kanye is doing that with his yeah he's doing albums yeah tyler too right Tyler's tyler right lemonade beyonce was definitely an album yeah. but most people are like you know prince absolutely but the you know, now it's like here's my songs here's the 12 <laughs> best songs i worked on over the past year or well, more like it's actually more Here's my my smash from five months ago and nine other songs. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's more what an album is now. Right, right, right. And I, I do and two remixes of the smash. Oh, right, oh, yeah, oh my god! Oh, forget about it. Forget it. I do. I I definitely miss albums. Forget about. Yeah. Forget about. They used to come with art. And liner notes that were interesting in and of themselves. Yes. And I'm reading the liner notes and like, forget, you know, <laughs> Sly would give you like notes inside yeah, yeah. to read. I'm like, for, you know, for, <laughs> for that, that's a distant hope, right? A distant dream. Well, best packaging is still a Grammy uh, award, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see who's mm. won that recently, actually. But, uh, but, but yeah, you are talking about seeing the whole thing as an holistic project. Yeah, absolutely. I've like made videos before songs were finished. 
Like to me, it, it's so connected. I can't not make anything like that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's beautiful. And yes, you see how to visually present the songs. Oh yeah. Your video sense, your video catalog is extraordinary and varied. Oh, thank you. And all of these different ways of presenting and that's you. You're not like, you know, no, that's I'm, you I'm, saying like, this is how I'm to I'm directing and editing. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. And, and the artwork too. I mean, it's really all like, because I'm such a fan. It's just, it's really all from that simple place of just growing up a fan of music. And, and I know you know what that is too. Sure. You know, it's a very like, as I, as I said earlier, you know, like, recording videos on a VHS and like but how old were you when MTV blew up when it like blew up yeah when it started to become I, we sit there and watch MTV all day long I was I was definitely too young I was I mean not too young but I was born in 85 okay so it was always there for you right it was it was always I mean I remember going to a party around then and it was it was like everyone's just sitting there like uh and i'm like what are you guys watching and they're like and and i just never stopped watching like i just yeah. sat down and like 10 years later i was still i'm still just watching mtv when it was an era of videos not the era yeah. of shows but um it's interesting that your video sense is so deeply honed uh music videos are my favorite art form really absolutely to like more than the songs to work to work in yes wow because this because the songs as i said before they're such like this it's it's kind of draining like working on the songs because it's so emotional and it's so um i don't know and i have it in my head and i'm trying to get it out but also it's like these feelings but um the the form of a music video i i i love and i love making music videos because i feel like a kid and i love and i really respect the art form of it because something i think gets lost especially now although i think videos have different reasons for existing now but yeah in in my mind the point of a music video there's there's only two things it needs to do and and if you can do those two things then you're free to do amazing things within it and deeper things and real meanings but it should make a song better mm -hmm. and make the artist look good mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know? Yeah. like that's like yeah. the reason a music video existed in the first place yeah. and and it's funny because you see these grander things happen and, but people miss those two points you know like i've had a few videos where and one in particular where it was kind of the only video I ever got funding for, actually. And I shoot a lot of footage when I'm when I'm filming stuff. And and I remember, and it was going really well. And I remember people were asking, you know, like to extend it and like make it, you know, when people do these videos and it's like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And I was like, no, why on earth would I do that? I'm making a music video. I'm making a like three minute, 30 second music video. Because to me, that being able to make something that's really creative, but is digestible, which is essentially what a music video is, is so beautiful. Because I just think about, again, like, being younger and being in like East London. And, you know, I was taught so much mm. from seeing music videos, like so much. So, so